We're going to tell you about an inherently strategy that does not get talked about enough, and it could be the perfect way for you to dip your toes into host on Airbnb without going all in. We are the, the Real, Real Estate, Estate Robinsons. Robinsons. Hey everyone, if this is your first time here, I'm Sarah. I'm Tony. And we are real estate investors who quit our day jobs by investing in short-term rentals. And we're here to show you how you can do the same. On our channel, our goal is to help you build your real estate business using Airbnbs. And we talked a lot about the different ways to be successful and strategies in Airbnb hosts. But one of the things that we haven't talked about yet is renting your Airbnb by the room. So we came across this article on Business Insider that was actually written by a guest. And in the article, she talks about why she prefers to rent rooms on Airbnb instead of booking an entire place or hotel room even. So let's just break down what it means to like rent a room on Airbnb. So this is actually how Airbnb got started, right? People were renting out rooms, spare rooms in their homes. That's obviously shifted a lot as Airbnb has grown and matured as a platform where now most people are renting out entire rooms. Um, in Verbo, actually- It's not entire, but entire houses. Entire houses. Um, in Verbo, it doesn't even allow them to rent out by the room. It's only uh, entire spaces. But there is still a, a, a percentage of hosts who rent out rooms on the platform. And when you're searching on Airbnb, it actually gives you the option to filter by one bedrooms, two bedrooms, yeah. or even just by the so this article, it goes on to say, and, and she gives a few reasons as to why she likes to do that. First, she says that they're much less expensive than renting an entire Airbnb by by itself, which is true. Um, she says she had like a an oceanfront Airbnb room in Maine. She spent like $55 a night to stay there. And it's like, I can't pick up an oceanfront room at any place that's like nice enough to go to where you're only spending $55 a night to be there. But did you see a picture? Yeah. It wasn't cute. It was right on the ocean. I don't care if it was supposed to the ocean. The ring itself was not cute. And honestly, I would rather jump off of a bridge than stay at a place that I'm sure and freaking brew with a stranger. Well, yeah, well, we are not that trapped in the demographic, you know? It's like when we travel, we would rather stay in a place that's our own or in a nice hotel room. However, there are people that are on the platform that are budget minded that still want to see in nice places, but don't have the, you know, the, the funds to book a, a whole place by themselves. However, I think a lot of these shared spaces aren't really like nice. But that's an opportunity for all of you hosts that are watching to create that nice shaded space, which is why, why we're talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, she talks about why she booked a, a place in an actual mansion in Utah. Um, and she spent $95 uh, a night for that room. And she had access to uh, a, a pool, to an in-rail trampoline, to a tennis court. All that came with this mansion um, in Utah. Uh, she stayed in like more traditional bed and breakfast where every single room was being worked out by something else. And sometimes there are shirts based like the kitchen and, and the bathrooms, but um, she's getting really good deals in nice cities for, yeah. you know, less than you know, <laughs> what? I personally just don't care. It's first not jumping. I would rather jump off of a bridge than stay at a share room. I am like afraid, I think, you know, I just, and I thought, I initially thought this was written by a man, you know, but she's a woman, you know, so I thought that was really interesting. But um, yeah, I personally am too much of a scaredy cat to share an entire space on vacation with strangers. Like, I don't know, that just does not make me feel safe. She says that most of the time she doesn't even see the other people that are there. I don't care. It's just knowing the fact that this place is open to other beings freaks me out. Don't you think? But what, the reason we're bringing this article up is not to <laughs> tell you not to travel that way when you're booking. Uh, it's to really kind of give you some thought into how you can get started as an Airbnb host yourself. Yeah, so this really opened my eyes. Like, even though I keep saying I want to literally rather jump off the first and say it myself, but we started thinking, we're like, holy hell, like, I didn't know that people actually are really into this. So, yeah, we started thinking, like, are there any one of our properties that we'd be willing to do this at? But before you go, I want to share with you guys that we have officially launched our Airbnb coaching program. It's called Alpha Post Academy, and we're currently still in our beta test mode. Uh, for those who joined during the beta test, it's a lifetime membership and you get a mix of one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching um, and on-demand content. So our goal through Alpha West Academy is to help you save the rat race, replace your day job in five years or less. And like we said, it's a lifetime membership. 
And if you're interested in booking a discovery call to learn more about our program, then head over to the real estate robinsons.com forward slash book a call. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about what this whole Airbnb rent by the room thing could mean for our business and for your business. So first, I think it's a really low cost way to get started as an Airbnb host. If you don't feel confident or, or comfortable uh, buying in markets and you know spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy the property and tens of thousands of dollars to furnish and set it up, if you have extra space in a property that you already own, maybe it's your the primary residence and you have like an ADU in the back, or if you have a property where you have, or the rich primary residence or, or investment property you already own, where you can take one of those existing rooms and rinse it out, that's a really low cost way for you to get started because now you're just furnishing one room. And now, you know, there's no additional cost to take that property or that room and put it on Airbnb. It could be a great way for you to get familiar with hosting um, and how to make it host and how to price your property. You've learned all the things you learn when it's a big of property, but it's with the property chart. And if you do choose to go this route, like, please don't be a snaky host. Like, really, in your listing, let them know that you are, like, this is your primary residence, you know? I would even have photos of the entire property so they know what the kitchen looks like if they have access to the kitchen where they can park not just I don't just you know revamp this one bedroom and only have photos of that one bedroom really show what the bathroom looks like and every other space that you will allow this guest to use because yeah that's a really good point is even in this article the, the guest calls out that she she reads the full listing and really make sure she understands what she signed up for, right? Yeah. Right. So she's of a lot of properties. Say if she used to share here, you have to wash going in your dishes. She looks for property suffers in, is it a shared bathroom or do I have my own bathroom? So make sure to give us any details to the guests you possibly can. So that way they truly understand what it is that they're signing up for. So I think another way that you can leverage the rent by the room strategy, and we almost did this with property that we were looking at in uh, in New York. But if you buy like a traditional bed and breakfast and you rent out each room separate, that's a great way to really maximize the revenue of that property because maybe in your market, there aren't changing groups that are, you know, that need like an eight bedroom house, right. but there are tons of people who are groups of one or two that would want to rent a room in a specific property. So one of the other ways that sharing or creating a shared room or, or listing a room as a listing on Airbnb could be cool is that it does allow you to kind of go back to the roots of Airbnb where you can really show your guests kind of the, the local culture. That was a big draw to Airbnb originally was that people felt like they were getting to know whatever place they were coming to stay at. So like- And really have like an immersive experience there. That's one of the benefits of like renting by the rooms. If you advertise it that way, you really can build a relationship with your guests and really show them the ins and outs of your home. And another thing I will say is I am a big like people person. I love meeting different people, connecting, you know, learning about different cultures while you're there. Um, like why are you even vacationing here? You know, so I would say that it is one reason I would love um, as a guest perspective to be in a shared um, like property is just to connect with other travelers. So I think that's another fun thing. So we hope you guys get some value out of this strategy that doesn't get talked about enough in the world of Airbnb investing. You literally can take a space you already have and get started listening today um, if you take a step and start putting some by the So before we let you guys know, we really would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that little bell for notifications. Every new subscriber really doesn't get done to us. We have a goal of getting to 100,000 subs by the end of the year. So if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and share with some of you feel I enjoy as well. We've also got a totally free download for all of our subscribers. If you head over to the realestaterobinsons.com forward slash calculating, let's get a free tool that lets you analyze properties that you're considering purchasing as an Airbnb. And if you're on social media, if you guys can follow me on Instagram, I'm at Sonia Robinson. My wife is at Sarah Rad Robinson. And if you're on TikTok, give us a follow at the Real Estate Robinson. So that's it for today, guys. I'm Tony. I'm Sarah. And we are the Real Estate Robinsons.